Hello, this is XStarKillerX here, and today I've got another Minecraft mod review for you. Today we are going to be looking at the Ender Expansion mod for Minecraft 1.7.2. So basically what this mod does, it adds a bunch of new end end type things into your game, and it is awesome. So for the monsters, we're going to look at them last, because they annihilate everything. So, so first miscellaneous, we've got a few uh, different things that you can get. We've got dry splinters. Ghost Amulet, End Head, Spectral Wand. I don't exactly know what the wand in that does, I don't think they do anything in particular. Ender Goo, now that gives you, I think it was nausea and damages you um, as you do it. Biome covers, that tells you basically where, it, where certain biomes are, and then you there's a bunch of new discs as well, which is quite cool. Uh, brewing, there are some new potions as well. There's um Infestation Remedy, so obviously you don't know if you got infested. Splash Potion of Instability, but I'll ask a question mark and posting of it. So let's find out what they, these two do. I'm assuming this is going to do nothing. Yeah, it didn't. I see this does. Oh dear. Okay, so that poisoned me, so that's excellent. Okay, nature. So these are different some new plants that you can also find I think in the end and, and just around the world. It's got spooky leaves, we've got death flower, death flower again, thorny bush, infested bush, infested grass, a lily fire and the infested bone. <coughs> so this uh, mod also adds a few more ore than that's in the as well. So these are all found in the end. You got end powder ore, stardust ore, igneous rock ore and instability orb ore. Which I then drop like these. And some of the monsters now also drop these, these fiery essences and the gems and the exoplasm and the um, Enderman relic. It dropped well on the as I drop it over there. And also, selfish is drowned drop blood. So, a few new altars and everything. Adventure diaries, I'm not so sure what they do. Noise fragments. And that, that this book here basically tells you what the mod is all about. As you extract the table. Decomposition table, then you've got basic, then you've got all the different essence souls. So let's just take a look at one of these tables. Basically, use I think you have to use essence on them to get yes, like spectral essence here. And then, uh, I'm not so sure what you do after that though. Oh, it gives you them. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can probably store them. It's probably like a storage or something. And then finally, we have the bluff and blocks. These are all found in the end as well. So you've got dungeon puzzle wars. We'll find out all more about these when we actually go to the end. You've got ravage bricks, smooth gl glowstone, glow <gasps> obsidian, full obsidian, which is basically gravel instead of obsidian. You've got enchanted end stone, burnt end stone, spooky blocks, ravage bricks, and also satellite. Mm -hmm. So now, just before I show you the mods, I'm going to get myself a diamond sword, as these mods are quite powerful. Okay. This one here is the baby Enderman, which I can't spawn. This is basically just a midget Enderman. Yep, that's pretty cool. Next we have the Enderman Guardian. Which is um, basically just like a normal Enderman, except this um, not all powerful and does a lot more damage and has a lot of HP. And we all drop Ender Pearl and Obsidian Man Killed. Let's try this move. Going. So next we have the Ender Demon. Which is actually a boss mob, as you can see. <coughs> it's about a million HP. So, um, let me just turn these um, mobs down. Jobs, uh, think, think, see, this thing's going to take about seven years to kill, so. I'm going to bother with it early. Spawns a lot of these angry endermen as well, which is what we have here—an angry enderman. <coughs> Basically, just that. That's it. 
I used to have the paralyzing in there, which I believe gives you slowness, I think. <coughs> so we have the vampire bat, which you can see is this like that, but as it does, I think it does obviously bite you and uh, <coughs> suck your blood. You have a scorching, a new one called a scorching lens. This drops um, the ignis rocks. Then you have the fire golem, which I think is like, you know, which is like a major one. Drops uh, some of the essences. So that. Then you have the infested bat, which gives you the infested uh, things. Now we'll just go, you, you will drop some leather. <coughs> then you'll have the Ender Eye, which is also a boss monster. <coughs> Gives you nausea and all sorts of abilities. This is a oh god. I can't see, I can't see. I can't exactly remember what these drop, but I'll see what they feel kind of so. Okay, these are all found naturally in the end. This one drops the, spe the spectral dash gems as well. And this one, this is also a, a boss as well, I think. When you get too close to it, it will set you on fire as well. That's what I to mention. This is the weakest thing in the world. Okay. Then we have a shit ton of that essence. So the one thing to do is go into the end and then show you around the end. Teleporting straight in, and, and this is what happens to the end when you install this mod. So you see, you've got some of the R's. You see, there's also a baby Ender Dragon on this one. And you'll see a lot of the monsters that, that I've shown you spawn in here. Oh, all different towers and stuff as well. Lucky block showing. <coughs> yeah, so that is really this mob mod in a nutshell. So, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to punch the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. <coughs> also, most of my Twitter feed, which is going to be linked down below. So, that's what I say. Thank you for watching. Have a nice look. I'll see you soon. Bye. Blah, 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 blah.